when you begin to you turn now and recite the holy names of the saints or the Buddhas and all the mantras from the Buddhas, then please be vegan, please. Because if you are vegan, then you are more connected with life, not with death, not with killing. Killing karma is very, very heavy. And even if you recite sincerely, but you don't have enough time to build up this uh, uh, holy and uplifting energy, then it's very difficult to use meager energy to reach a high land, you know, higher realm of the Buddhas and saints. Thus you have to be vegan for yourself, not just because of compassion for the suffering of the animal people, but for yourself, so that you don't connect with this heavy, dragging, burdensome karma of killing, which will drown you, degrade you, and drag you down to a lower existence or hell. I hope it's logical enough for you. Because if you just cut some leaves from plants or trees to eat, then the leaves will grow again. And they have seeds, you know, and can grow again. Very simple, just put it in the ground and the vegetable will grow. See, it's life. It's a symbol of life. You put a seed and it grows. Even if you cut some of the branches of the vegetable, you can use that branch to grow. Most of them are like that. So it's life. It's not killing. Not death. And you see, if you kill an animal person in front of you, or make some people kill it for you, you know they're suffering, they scream, they kick, they don't want to be killed. They suffer, they cry. Animals feel pain. This is a scientific fact. And yet, in animal industries all over Australia, pieces of animals' bodies are cut off, sliced open, and burned away while they are fully conscious without pain relief. This is routine and is inflicted on millions of animals raised for food every year. Can you imagine dying just 42 days after being born? Your life cut short just so an industry can make money. New evidence released by Animal Equality in Mexico shows the cruel reality for chickens on factory farms. A similar fate endured by nearly 8 billion chickens in the United States. These animals are forced to live in discomfort and suffering inside overcrowded and windowless sheds. Those who survive are sent to slaughter at only 42 days of age. They are not yet adults. 